Hello, welcome back to another video, and that series I was talking about in, pr in a previous video. Well, today we're, today we're going to be reviewing all of the Studio Ghibli movies. Um, this is something I've been wanting to do for a while, but I uh, haven't really had the time to do. Um, so, let's talk about it, shall we? So, we're going to be talking about their newest movie, um, Earwig, Earwig and the Witch. It is a, it is it is their first 3D animated movie uh, about a girl named Earwig who has whose mom's a witch. So, what makes this movie so special is that it shows multiple different aspects of just plot holes and twists and everything. It's it's really good. So how how it goes, right, is when she, when she was a kid, there 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 was this girl. Her name was Earwig. She her mom was being tracked down by witch. Her mom was being tracked down by her old witch buddies. So she had to put Earwig up for adoption. Um, she was there for I think. 10 to 12 years, and what happens is she eventually, uh, eventually, a woman, uh, another one of the witches, and her husband, uh, the Mandrick, comes and adopts her, and they put her to work. I was surprised of how much work she was doing, but what makes this movie so interesting is not not only the plot, but how but how Studio Ghibli just completely showed so many different sides of the story. So like one moment you're one moment like you hear like why why the witch wants Earwig to work. She needs an extra set of hands. The next second, ooh, like spike. The next second you're hearing about how. Uh, the Mandrick doesn't like to be disturbed. The next second, there's Earwig trying to, like, Earwig trying to, like, escape, and it shows, it shows a really, it, ma it shows a really good lesson. Lesson one, don't be a dick to your kids. That is shown. Number, number two, don't be spoiled. The entire movie, Earwig is convinced that people just listen to her and they give her whatever she wants. She even, like, openly admits that in the movie. And they just did such a fantastic job. The characters are great. The animation's great. The the an, the, the animation's flawless. The characters are amazing. The plot is the plot is not the worst plot I've ever seen. Although it's not although it's not the best plot. Um. So. Why is it called? Why is it called? Fuck. Earwig in the witch's flower. If Earwig is not a witch, well, well, actually, you know she's not a witch through me telling you. Um, it's called Earwig in the witch's flower. Oh, Earwig in the witch. I'm thinking of Mary in the witch's flower, which is a different movie. It's called that for the reason of just she's working for witches, or she she is like working for a wit a witch. Sorry, I had to do that real quick. He was talking. He was talking trash. Anyways, but yes, he is. He is. Uh, she he she is working for a witch. Now, why does she just escape? Well, the ma the man the mandrick has these powers. It's such, it's such a good movie. I'm having a hard time explaining it. You need to watch it yourself. It is such in like, it's such a good movie. Holy shit! I was sitting there baffled just how good that movie was, dude. It's it's easily one of the one of my favorite one of my favorite studio dribble movies. Now, what does it bring to the table from from the other ones? Well, it brings a whole new animation style, a whole new plot, 
but it doesn't strain, and it, it, it kind of strains away from what they're usually making, you know? They're usually making movies about magical beings. This movie is about how, this movie is about a kid who is, who is, in her eyes for, for the first, uh, until the end, is being trapped in this house. It is a whole new concept and is really good. If you ever get a chance to watch it, I would. I would give it, so I would give it, uh, a, so this is how we're going to do the rating scale for now. Oh, right. There's going to be three aspects. Plot, character, character, plot, characters, and animation. Okay. Those are the three I'm going to go by. This is probably, easily without a doubt, the best the best 3D animated movie I've seen in a long time. I would give the animation a 5 out of 5. It is, it is, it's not, it's not like S tier animation, but for people who usually do 2D animation, it's not the worst thing. It's, it's actually probably much, it's much better than a lot of studios do on their first try. Plot, I give it a 3 out of 5. Um, I don't know, it just, Sometimes it, it kind of feels bland, and they just forget about the plot for a sec. And then there are other times where they where they completely just change like what Mary's doing. It's very confusing. Characters, four out of five. Um, the reason I say four out of five is Earwood kind of reminds me of that spoiled rich kid, and. This feels like something you would hear about your e in your everyday life. Although she's she's also a really good character who does have a lot of good development. So in total, I would give it. I would I would give it a tw wait a, tw a twelve a twelve out of fifteen. It is definitely not the worst movie I've ever seen. Especially, especially coming from my mouth, I watch a lot of movies. Definitely one of the better ones. And it's easily just one of my pro probably gonna stand alone. Probably gonna replace Ponyo as one of my favorite Studio Ghibli movies of all time. That's saying something because I own like two different versions of Ponyo. And I, I love that movie to death. That is my favorite movie. Um. Again, the movie is called uh, Earwig and the Witches. If you ever get a chance to watch it, watch it 100%. This is going to be the end of the review. I hope you all have a good day, and goodbye.